Why is there an F before the string? And what's going on with the brackets? In Python, this syntax creates a formatted string, or F string for short. By the end of this video, you'll know how to format text with F strings and make your outputs easier to read. To get familiar with the F string syntax, let's write a simple program to display the temperature assigned to the variable F temp. Specifically, our program should generate a string that reads, the temperature is 67 degrees Fahrenheit. But for flexibility, we don't want to hard code the value 67 in the string in case the F temp variable changes. Instead, we'd like to embed the value of F temp directly in the string. This is easy to do with an F string. We can convert this regular string into an F string by simply writing F before the first quotation mark. Now that we have an F string, we can insert the value of F temp by writing the variable's name between curly braces. This syntax tells Python to insert the value of F temp and not the literal string F underscore temp. Running the cell, we can see that the F temp variable inside the F string was indeed replaced by its value, 67. This is already useful on its own, but F string allows us to do much more. In particular, we can display the result of any expression between the braces. For example, suppose we want our program to report the temperature in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. We can do the conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius directly inside the F string by subtracting 32 from F temp and dividing by 1.8. When this line is executed, Python first evaluates the conversion expression and then inserts the result in the string. Running the cell, we get that the temperature is 19.4444443 degrees Celsius. Okay, that did the job, but that's way too many decimals. We should probably improve the format of the output by rounding the temperature to one or two decimal places. Luckily, with F strings, rounding numbers is easy. Anytime we want to format the expression between brackets, we start by writing a colon. From here, we have a lot of options to customize how our result is displayed. To format the decimal places in the expression, we write a period, the number of decimal places we want to display, one, and the letter F to display the result as a float. Running the cell, we get a Celsius value rounded to one decimal place. If we wanted to round two decimal places, we'd just replace the one with a two. This works fine, but you might be wondering, why do we need to write the F after the number of places? Well, it's because F strings offer multiple ways to display decimal numbers, and floats are just one option. For example, we could instead display the results in scientific notation by replacing F with E. Or we could format the value as a percentage using a percent sign. But since we're working with temperatures, Formatting the value as a float makes the most sense, so we'll stick with F. Great! As we've seen so far, F strings give us the flexibility to format how decimal numbers are displayed. But F strings can do more. In particular, we can also use them to make big numbers easier to read. To see how this works, let's represent the temperature at the sun's core, which is 27 million degrees Fahrenheit and update the variable name accordingly. When we run the cell, it's hard to tell at a glance whether the result is almost 150 million or just 15 million. We'd have to count the places manually to be sure. To improve the readability of large numbers like this, F strings allow us to add commas as thousands separators. To add the separators, we simply write a comma before the period. When we run the cell, our Celsius value now has comma separators. Much clearer. So far, we've used F string to improve the readability of an expression's result with rounding and comma separators. But F strings offer even more customization for situations where we want to control the spacing, alignment, and padding around our expression. For example, let's say we want our program to display both the temperature at the core of the sun and the average temperature in Fahrenheit on Earth's surface. To convert this value to Celsius and display it, we'll use another F string. 
Since we want to display both strings at the same time, we'll pass them into print statements. When we run the cell, we get both temperatures as expected. But the layout of these strings is a bit messy, since the results take up different amounts of space. To fix that, f-strings let us control the space that a result will take up by writing a number in front of the decimal options. In our example, let's specify 15 to make sure each result takes up exactly 15 characters. When we run the cell, each result is displayed in a space that is 15 characters wide. Since neither number is 15 characters long, Python pushes the result all the way to the right. That works fine, but we can change the alignment of our results by adding an alignment symbol after the colon. To left align the values, we add the less than symbol right after the colon. When we run the cell again, we'll see the numbers are now pushed to the left, just as we expected. Or, if we want the values to sit in the center of the 15 characters, we can use the caret. Now, you might have noticed, when the value doesn't take up the full width, something fills in the extra space. By default, those leftover spots are filled with space characters. But we're not limited to spaces. We can choose a different character instead. We can do this by writing the character we want to use before the alignment symbol. For example, to make the result stand out more, we can fill the space with asterisks instead. Awesome! As you've seen, there are a lot of options for formatting f-strings. We've covered the most common ones in this video, but there are a few more available. If you're curious about these options, we've left a link in the description to a notebook with more examples, so go check it out! We also link the official documentation. We're working on lots more videos like this one, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out. If you found this video helpful, be sure to share it with a friend. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like to learn about, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.